Hi there. Congratulations on your admission to UVM and welcome. My name is Susan and I'm a counselor at Student Financial Services. Our office is in the Waterman Building right here on campus across from the green. You can find us Monday through Friday in office number 223 from 10 to 430. You never need an appointment and we would love to meet you and to help you if you need anything going forward. We've created this video to help you to take care of a few things before you get to campus. So once you get here, you can really hit the ground running. We are going to cover proxy access, viewing and finalizing your financial aid, student health insurance, payment and loan options, and how to take care of those things, and direct deposit. So let's get started. The first and most important thing that I think you can do is to set up a proxy user on your account. You will go into your MyUVM student portal and you will designate a parent, a guardian, a grandparent, a close family friend, someone who can help to support you with the billing and payment aspects of going to college. This would be somebody that we would include on your billing um, notifications and somebody that we would be able to speak with on the phone if you or they have any questions. And you can designate one proxy or several proxies. It's a two-step process in your portal. You do a profile tab, which has their name and their contact information. And then you do the authorization tab, which is allowing them to speak, allowing us, excuse me, to speak to them about your finances and billing. Your billing is based on your course registration. Fall semester bills are available in mid-July. You should take a look at your email around July 11th and you should be able to see that bill. That bill is due paid in full by 4.30 on Friday, August 16th. If you wanna estimate your balance before the bill comes out, you can do that on our website, go.uvm.edu, estimate your bill. This can help you out if you want to do applications for loans or payment plans ahead of that bill coming out. Please know that semester bills are subject to a $250 late payment fee and a hold on the student account. So you want to be looking for that bill and be prepared to have your payment process set up so that you don't have any holdups um, once you get to campus in the fall. You will go into your MyUVM student portal to view your financial aid. You will see that scholarships and um, grants are accepted for you and are already paying toward your bill. You will have the option to accept or decline loans and federal work study. So loans that you accept before July 1st will be listed as pending aid on your fall semester bill. That is nice because then you can see the balance due. And if you have a balance due, you still need to take action to make sure that that bill is paid in full by the 16th of August. When you accept loans in your MyUVM student portal, you will be prompted to go to studentaid.gov to complete entrance counseling and a master promissory note. You only need to do that the first time you accept your federal student loans. As an undergrad, provided that you fill out your FAFSA every winter, you will be offered federal student loans going forward through your undergrad, and you can just accept those in your portal, and, you, and the master promissory note and entrance counseling will be in place for you. If you are eligible for federal work study, you will also accept that in your MyUVM student portal. After you accept your federal work study, you want to go to the Job X board on the UVM website and get hired for a job. You can take a look. It's a live um, search engine, so there are different jobs available different times when you look. You want to make sure you're hired by October 1st. So get an idea of the hours you have available, the times that you have available, and get in there, find something that interests you and that works for your schedule, and get hired by October 1st. If you are not offered federal work study, you still are welcome to go into JobX and apply for jobs on campus. There are lots of jobs, there's lots of availability, and we welcome everyone to give that a try. Whenever you're in your MyUVM student portal looking at your financial aid, you want to look for verification requirements. You want to upload any requested financial aid information or documents to the secure portal if those are requested of you to make sure that your financial aid is not held up for any reason. Every student at UVM is required to be covered by a health insurance plan. 
Some students come to campus with a health insurance plan already. If you do not, we offer you the UVM SHIP health insurance plan. So one of the requirements that you need to complete is to set up a waiver, complete a waiver, if you already have health insurance of your own. If you do not have health insurance of your own, you will have the UVM SHIP policy and the premium for that will be charged on your bill in July. If you do not fill out your waiver by July 1st and you are charged the premium for SHIP health insurance on your bill, you do have until September 15th to get that waiver into us. But after September 15th, you are going to be charged for that SHIP health insurance premium. So please make sure you pay attention to that and ideally get that waiver in before July 1st. People pay for college in a lot of different ways. I'm going to put a lot of information on this slide so you can see where to submit your information and um, what options there are available. People come in with outside scholarships from home. You want to notify us by email of those, the amount that's coming and where it's coming from. Frequently those checks don't arrive until after the bill due date, so we can make a note of that in your file to avoid any late payment fees. And I have the address of where the funding sources can send those checks. It's at our office in 223 Waterman. And then um, if you choose to go with a 529 payment plan, there's a different address to send that check in. Make sure you notify your 529 plan administrator well ahead of the bill due date, and then let us know that you did that and that there is an amount coming. Tell us what the amount is, where it's coming from, and have it sent to this PO box in Williston, Vermont. Always make sure that your name and your student account number, that 95 number, is on any checks. So we make sure that that they are posted to your account properly. People often make direct payments out of pocket, and you can do that online through your MyUVM student portal. Make a payment. You need a checking account number and a routing number, and those payments are credited immediately to your account. You can also use a credit card or a debit card, but please know that our card processor does charge a fee for that, so you want to be aware of that going forward. If you're going to make a direct payment and you would like to set that up as a payment plan, we do offer a plan that has a $60 enrollment fee and it can break your direct payment into five equal payments. If you set it up before July 1st, you will have five payments July 1st through November 1st. If you don't set that up until after the bill comes out, you can still do the payment plan. It will be four payments. August 1st through November 1st. And if you enroll in the payment plan before September 15th, you can still do it with three payments, September, October, November. So that is an option that a lot of people like to take advantage of. And you also do that through your MyUVM portal um, monthly payment plan tab. There are loan options out there that can pay up to your full cost of attendance. Parent PLUS loans can be researched at studentaid.gov and private student loans can be researched on the UVM website. Just plug in um, private loans into the search engine. It will take you right to our Elm Select tool where you can compare interest rates and repayment and find a loan that might work for your situation. Just communicate with us. If your bill is not going to be paid in full by August 16th, please let us know what you have in place, loans, 529 plans, outside scholarships. Do your very best to get things set up ahead of time and it will make things a lot easier as you come to campus. The last thing you want to do is set up direct deposit through your MyUVM portal. And this will involve a checking account number and a routing number and any payments that come to your account over and above your directly billed um, amounts will be returned to you for your outside um, educational expenses, your books and supplies and things like that. If a Parent PLUS loan um, creates a refund, typically that is returned to the parent in a paper check at their address, but a parent can authorize the student to receive that um, refund to their direct deposit account when they set up that loan structure. Those are the five things that I would like you to take care of before you come to campus in August and ideally before the bill due date um, of August 16th. If you take care of any of these things before July 1st, when your bill comes out, it will be um, adjusted for any of your pending payments that you have already set up. We are here to help you. Here is our address and our 
phone number and our email address. We are here every day to help you. Please let us know if you need anything, support, guidance, tools, and have a great summer and be well.